We cut the piece of plastic for the side windows, but because there's a fillet weld here, we need to round off one of the edges so it will actually sit flush and we can get a good seal with the gasket. And it's a pretty good thing that M2 made that weld because they made it so it's a pretty much perfect uh, quarter inch radius, which means that we can use the old router table and just take off an edge and then it'll fit pretty much flush right into that corner. Now that everything fits together the way it's supposed to, we can measure out uh, where the holes need to go and drill our guide holes on the drill press. Yeah, the, the whole entire thing is too big to fit in our drill press, so we're going to try and drill some guide holes through this, and then hopefully that's close enough to 90 degrees when we drill through the whole thing. We don't want to pop out the side of the aluminum, obviously. Yeah, and the whole thing's a little bit crooked, and we can't see through this because we're going to keep this, uh, we're going to keep the plastic on here so we don't scratch it all up so we got to be real precise So now that we've transferred the holes onto the metal, we have this jig to stick the drill bit in that uh, is hopefully going to keep the drill perpendicular to the metal. test uh, the box for leaks. So what we're going to do is drill a hole in it. We have this little fitting so we can uh, fill it up with air and spray it with water, see if any bubbles occur on the outside. And then once it's all assembled, we can use that hole to fill it up with the fluid also, you know, get a little cap for it. Oh no! So now we're going to weld down these uh, little standoffs. Nope. What are these called? Sure. Attachment points? I don't know. Alright, now we're going to weld down these little attachment points that we made out of recycled pieces from the fins. Um, so we can mount all the computer parts inside. We want to do this first. Sure makes a lot of noise. We want to do this first before we put 
the gasket on because if we heat up the metal to the point where we can weld again, it'll melt the gasket. So we're gonna do this and then we'll cut out the gasket and put it on the face, put the plastic parts on, and then we'll be ready to pressure test. Well, oh, it's from 1925, so what are you going to do? It's just dripping. Right. So we thought we would get lucky with uh, the hole that I messed up in here with that router, but it turns out that the o-ring won't sit exactly flat against the metal so we're gonna have to fix that with epoxy before we uh pressure test it so off to walmart